So in their quest to have a boss monster of every type, the Be Burning Abyss have got a new ritual monster, Malakoda, the Neverlord of the Burning Abyss. What Malakoda is, is a level 6 ritual monster, and his effect is you can only special summon this card with the good and evil in the Burning Abyss. It must be a ritual summon and cannot be special summoned any other ways. Once per turn during either phase 10, you can send one Burning Abyss monster from your hand to the graveyard, then target one face up monster your opponent controls, and to the end of this turn, that target loses attack and defense equal to the attack and defense of the Burning Abyss monster that's sent to, this, to the graveyard in this way. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one card on the field and send it to the graveyard. So basically, what this does is um, makes any Burning Abyss monster in your hand into a reverse Kalu. Uh, you can use it in the damage step, which is always good. Always a very nice bonus. And when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, it gets rid of an opponent's monster or a spell and trap. That's annoying. So that's very good. Other things about it, it allows new variants of the deck to be played. So it allows the use of the Gin of Rituals series. So you can use Releaser to not stop your opponents from special summoning. You can use Pronosticator to make your opponent discard a card when they take battle damage, and you can use Demolisher so it's not targeted, so it can't be targeted by opponent's card effects, which is a very powerful um, protection effect in the current meta, especially with like the Burning Abyss mirror map. So another thing about it is it allows use of Burning Abyss monsters from your hand by tributing for the ritual summon which the land to get the effect, and also by discarding them. So that's really good. And I mean, the Gin of Rituals fit in really nicely because they can either be milled by Dante or Mathematician, or they can be searched for by Skarm and Tour Guide, so I mean, it's not like you're trying to shoehorn something new in. So maybe you could see a new variation of the deck, maybe more stun based around like making a protected Malakoda. Plus, you know, Dante will be able to recycle Malakoda. Seer won't because it can't be special summoned by Seer. But, you know, it's still a very, very nice card for the archetype. Highest original attack of any monster in the archetypes thus far and we shall have to wait and see what the good and evil in the Burning Abyss does because apparently people are thinking that might be broken and they're trying to see if this is they think the degree to which the card is good is based on the good and evil in the Burning Abyss which it sort of is in a way but I think it's pretty decent for what it is uh, I like the way it opens up new deck variants maybe we'll have a ritual meta what with this and Necros so yeah, I just thought I'd bring this news to you, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.